What's up? Hey. That's the opening of the podcast this week. Yo, what up? up? I like, just, just I like this. Lot. We're kicking it. Cash. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to experience with different openings. <laughs> In closings. I really like the, la- <laughs> the last, abrupt last one. So you- See, have you gotten a hall pass from, from the podcast to, ex- to experiment with other openings? Do they get to experiment with other hosts? No, of course not. Oh, yeah, that uh, sounds... They were exclusive. That sounds In really the, fair. the uh, deal that we didn't sign, <laughs> I think... Oh, I never even thought about this one. I should have one of you scrubs open up a podcast. Yeah. I've, I've gotten... tried to do it before. I've also tried to do the sign-off, but usually <laughs> you're just like, no, no, no. I got, I got, yeah, no, no, I got a routine. I uh, Okay, all right. You, you can do the sign-off today. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, you're going to have to remind me of all of our URLs. I know Facebook, just because it's plastered all over the wall behind you. That, that is true. It is, it is plastered. Yeah. I will um, yeah, I'll hold your hand through it. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll take the training wheels off. And then I'll, I'll be like, Dad, you let go. No. <laughs> it's time to sink or swim, bitch. You're going down the hill. Wait, there's water involved? I'm just riding a bike. <laughs> <laughs> you let me into the Tour de France. No. <laughs> Yeah. How are you guys week? That does sound like a really funny bit. <laughs> but, dad, but dad teaching a kid how to ride yeah, a bike. He just lets go and then a bunch of people like <laughs> race him by and then it just cuts to like the, the helicopter view of the kid. He's like, oh, it looks like little Timmy's falling off again. Pretty sure little Timmy didn't even dope for this race. Dale's Dale's two beers in and it's not looking for Tim tonight. <laughs> not looking good for Tim tonight. <laughs> He's totally off course. He's now into oncoming traffic. Oh, God, where's his father? <laughs> oh, there goes the basket. <laughs> He's not just getting beat in the race. He's getting <laughs> beat at all. <laughs> <laughs> or have, like, a dad with a newborn and, like, a trailer behind him do the whole Tour de, Man- <laughs> Tour de France. <laughs> oh, and the sun just got in my eyes, and I kept going, honey. I don't know what happened, but I won. <laughs> this, this is kind of turning into wacky races. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go for some wacky races Tour de France. Yeah. I'm down. I'm so down. They're all cheaters anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have somebody tie a girl to the Come railroad on. tracks and Dick blow them up. Dick just yeah. fucking, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's I think like, Lance Armstrong is, is still Dick Dastardly. Yeah. yeah. You just have to grow out that mustache. Yeah. Which, I mean, with all the testosterone he's on, you can grow one in like a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In a mustache. Right, right, right. So, I would like to talk about the meme that... That got a lot of traction this week, and I've been enjoying the hell out of it. But the theory that Ant Man can just go up Thanos' ass, shrink down, and go up Thanos' ass, and expand, and that's how he's gonna win in End Game. Yeah. And the memes that have been coming out of it have been fucking amazing. It's like Kakashi's secret finger jutsu, you know, just right up the old pooper. Now, I'm not saying this wouldn't be a good one, but I'm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So Andy's showing us a picture of this, of this audio podcast, the, but it was very funny. About yeah. the fucking. <laughs> okay. I think it sounds totally rad, and I'd rather him go through his ear. I'm just saying. Like, like I'm not sure the Russo <laughs> brothers are going to make a, a butt joke right at the end. Oh, oh, old Disney doing like a fucking giant, giant fetishist fucking dream. This is it. This is what everybody wanted. Well, see, which is why I think Attack on Titan is so big. Is because a lot of people have giant fetish. They just, I mean, it's it's not that great of a show. Come on, people, I, just admit, just come out of the closet and admit your fetish. I wasn't a big fan of it. I, I think I learned something about myself. <laughs> there you go. Like, uh, huh. what is it, Miss Mountain? Oh, yeah. Oh, from My Hero Academia. Oh, she's got some assets. My Hero Macadamia. Yeah. Macadamia. No. Delicious. <laughs> so, uh, my week's been going pretty well. I, I was no, dipping. No one asked. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I asked all you guys and nobody started, so I was just going to go into mine. Yeah, I, I think that's when, uh, I think that's when we started talking about bikes. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, 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 go on, go on. Yeah, so I was, I was dipping into the old archive of like the thousand games I own on Steam. Uh, I was doing something similar this week. Yeah, I, I re-downloaded Left 4 Dead 2. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys have dipped into Left 4 Dead 2 like online. It's gotten pretty rowdy in there. <laughs> it's, it's... Yeah. So pretty much the only servers that are still available uh, have two keywords. 
Hentai and Rape. Oh, my God. <laughs> Those are the titles of pretty much any server you can connect to. Oh, and no. they're all over the U.S., all over EU, Asia. <laughs> they got you, dog. Somewhere in your home, hometown, there is a Hentai Rape server for Left 4 Dead 2, and they are just going to provide that crisp, clean connection. <laughs> also, pretty much, like, any mod that you find that's, like, popular within, like, the last month is just, like... A waifu sim simulator, or just reskins whatever character into like some dopey looking giant headed anime character, probably Dude. wearing a bikini or nothing. My one of my favorite mm. Left for Dead two mods mm. is they turn the tank into Terry Crews. Oh yeah, and you'll just hear from far away like Slim Jam, <laughs> or just echoes, or just him yelling. I but, uh, damn. Yeah, I uh, I uh, reloaded it without checking what what uh, mods I had on, and I realized I still had the sexy leg coach. <laughs> where he's wearing just like hot pink heels and a banana hammock and some fishnets. <laughs> he's just rolling around like it's totally fine. Really threw me off. Really kind of detached me from the realism of Left 4 Dead 2. <laughs> God, that game, that game was good, though. So, follow-up question. Yeah. What's hentai? Like okay, well, Tam. In a, when a boy squid well, and a girl human fall in love. Son of a bitch! That's exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> you motherfucker! I got it. I hit, I stuck the landing. Well, no, I pushed you out of the way and stuck <laughs> yeah, your landing. You, you fucking, fucking crane kicked me off the bullseye. And then, um, what's rape? So it's today on Three Hit about. Combo Podcast, <laughs> welcome to a very special episode of Three Hit Combo Podcast. Yeah, but that was that was a lot of my week was just playing Left 4 Dead 2 with whatever goofy mods I could I could download. Um, There's plenty of good ones. I found I found a mod that just makes your pistol able to just one shot your teammates, <laughs> but nothing else. Like it's, oh, it's a regular old pistol, but you can kill your teammates like that. Like you down them, you shoot them again, they're dead. Yeah, uh, I don't know specifically why I still have that on, but hey, do you guys want to play Left 4 Dead 2? Yeah. It'll, it'll, uh, I promise I won't down and then kill you immediately. <laughs> you can watch me play Left 4 Dead 2. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah, want you guys to be proud of me. I think, um, I think it's downloaded. My week's been good. I just recently got a 10-speed bike. Um, oh, nice. Are you going to be biking to work? And my dad's Dude. still teaching me. Yeah. We got a trip booked for Europe. Um, Are you gonna like ever backflip off of it? I'm gonna certainly try. <laughs> you take it yes. off. Sweet jumps. You gonna bully kids in the Tour de France? Thank you for following my bit, Matt. <laughs> Thank you so much. As I try to make one call back, you mother. I didn't buy a bike. Outside oh. sucks. I'm not gonna <laughs> fucking go outside. Are you kidding me? I, know, I, was, I, I, I was like, I saw that bait, and I'm watching these two. Like, it's right there, guys. I uh, yeah, I. I could see Tam, like, just having a small bike, maybe strapped to his chest and trying to run the Tour de France and, like, getting sticks jammed in people's, top, like, wheels and shit. Just like, ha fucker, I'm winning. This is why your parents never loved you. <laughs> Everybody just is, like, hovering right, like, slowly behind him. Tam's just walking backwards with sticks in hand. Just like, come on, make a move, bitch. I'm back walking the whole thing. Oh, no, the group is coming up to the stick factory. <laughs> He's re resupplying. <laughs> Someone makes it past, and Tam just like hucks a stick long distance at him. I could, I'd watch that if it became more of a contact combat sport. Yeah, I think that's how Mad Max started. Tour yeah. to or death. death race. Yeah, that that classic movie from the eighties, and then remade by uh, uh, Jason Statham. Death race. I got the best news that I've gotten so far this year. I get to go to Worlds for UFS. Nice. I it was. Th I'm everyone, so. <laughs> that's the uh, that's a card game. Not a lot of people know about. Yeah. Or really care, but. But it's really important to me, and I'm a fourth of this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought we had you at twelve percent. Well, let me check. Let me I check the, have the been graph. slowly buying stock, Skylar Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> that tax break worked for me. <laughs> um, it was. I was not 100% to go at all to the, the second biggest event of the year. And then um, I 
was given a day off guaranteed and then my schedule came out on Thursday and I was given both days off. And so I'm panicking to find a third person to join a team. Uh, the only reason I bring this up and the, what can relate is I've never had as much anxiety as I'm helping a bunch of members in the drive through and I see the email talk about the April schedule and I'm like, this is either going to make my day or ruin my day. And I was in, in, it was some sort of Schrodinger experiment of like my emotional state <laughs> of like, I have to as quickly as I can help these four people get their fucking money and get the fuck out of here so that I can look at these numbers. I'll give you an extra $20 to fuck <laughs> off. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, it was Schrodinger's schedule. You were both on and off. Yeah, yeah, schedule. yeah. Uh, yeah. I had an in interesting schedule hiccup actually when, when my schedule came out for Centris where I didn't get scheduled for two whole weeks. We get our schedule yep. in two weeks block, two week blocks, and I had to email my boss who makes the schedule. I'm like, "Hey, am I am I fired or like what's what's the deal? Did I do something wrong? Did you guys find out?" But they haven't found out, so I'm still in it. I'm still <laughs> working at financials. Found out what? No, nothing. Don't worry about it. Just found out. Yeah, they found out my secret. Andy, how about you? Let's see. I'm a Wells Fargo agent. There, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sleeper cell. I've been undercover. That's why. That's why my name at Centris is Jimmy Pennybag. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've been playing a lot of Apex Legends because, damn, I really like that game. Me too. Because it feels like. Did you? Did you actually? Of course get it? not. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but I got the battle pass because I actually. Like really fucking enjoying that game. Is it good? I um I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews, but I think I really enjoyed Titanfall. This mm -hmm. gives me that Titanfall itch until they yeah. That I've been hearing there's a lot of crossover from those two. Finally, games, so. make a third one, which will be like four years from now. Yeah. So, but I really like Titanfall. So I'm Titanfall glad this three came confirmed. Out. Yeah, I, yeah, it, confirmed. It, it, it struck me as kind of the Titanfall, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, or it's basically Advanced Warfare and all that. Yeah, the story though for Titanfall Two is so good. And the multiplayer is fucking bomb. Yeah, I wish they had Titans in Apex Legends, but I understand why they don't. Did you guys see that? Um, they for the PlayStation Plus this month they had uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare yes! One available for free. Yeah, Do I you, got it. That thing is seventy something gigs. <laughs> Things massive. It's fucking huge because Jesus it's a Christ. big dopey old game yeah. that you just download. <laughs> Every bit of, and then your your fucking PS4 compression. <laughs> yeah, it it prints the disc. That's why it takes yeah. so long. But yes, I've been playing every once in a while. I'll play maybe like four or five matches on Modern Warfare Remastered, and then just call it a night. Yeah, I was I was trying to trying to play it, and then I started just remembering all of the shitty times I had playing that. <laughs> it was just my ooh. favorite one is that really small cargo. Container oh. map, with, and, you with, just, and you have like the beachhead all the way on the other side, yeah. of fucking like in another zip code. But yeah, it's like the smallest map in the game, and it's just martyrdom, lobbing grenades, and shotguns. That's all yeah. that map is. So, yeah, specifically on that map is kind of why I stopped playing. Um, is also why I figured out uh, my my current stance on like people who cheat a lot, like use aimbots and shit at games. Uh, so. Our entire team was pinned down on in spawn because they had all the helicopters and they were just orbiting. They had a perfect orbit of our fucking spawn and they were just shooting just constantly the whole time. And uh, somebody was like, oh, this is probably what hell's like. Just respawning and dying in fiery inferno again. And somebody else was like, why, why do people cheat like this? And some random dude made the biggest impact on me on how I how I view aimbotters is just people people out there lose constantly at life. They're just losers. They they just they don't have a good job. They're not respected in their life or something like that. So they come home and they have to win. It's the only validation they can do. And if that involves cheating, you know, you should really feel bad for those people because they they can't put effort in and be rewarded from that. They can only get that instant satisfaction. And then usually something else in their life is causing them a lot more trouble than 
probably be aim bottom. That's why I do cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> it's that exact reason right mm-hmm. there to the T. Okay. It's just, it makes you win. Yeah, I'm a winner You're now. You're the best dancer. You can beatbox crazy. You're mm-hmm. not actually intentionally beatboxing. You just got to... <laughs> 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 That was a hell of a noise. Thank you. All right. It's segue. Matt, you're weak. Yeah. Um, oh, I finally did it, guys. I completed Xenoverse 2. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. You're done done with it? I am done. Or, yeah. Yeah, or, or he's not, and the only way that he can move on is to publicly say on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. like, that I can't go back. I said it. We're not going to check him, obviously. You viewers at home aren't going to check him. Duh. And I also was trying to go back through some of the games that I've downloaded, but just mm-hmm. like I haven't touched. One of them I'm going to do real soon is Enter the Gungeon, which Andy bought me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Does that have online multiplayer or just local? I haven't checked. I've only played it on the PS4. so That's a good question. I don't know. I, I also have that on Steam, and I realized that I had played it for about an hour or two, mm-hmm. downloaded it on PS4. Like, I just bought the game twice so I can play with Erica. Because <laughs> there's no way she's ever going to play on my laptop, ever. Even if it's hooking up a PS4 controller to do it. Hey, babe, come play games on this. It's too small. Yeah. You say that at night! <laughs> you don't say that in front of the electronics. My <laughs> online friends can hear me. <laughs> uh, but I also started playing Distrust. It's a game based off The Thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh. You're in a, like an Arctic base, and there's little monsters like going around, and you can't really trust people. And it would probably be really spooky if it wasn't like a top-down game. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then I I need to play Play with Me, which is a saw-based game Ooh. that I bought like a year ago. Nice. I uh, I've been really wanting to get a VR uh, like headset, just because like. It seems like so much fun. Like they have like uh, werewolves among us or something like that for uh, Steam. I think it's actually on sale. Um, but they have like this whole feature where like you can lean into the person next to you and like whisper to them, and nobody else can hear that chat at, as long as you're physically leaning to one side. That's cool. Um, and like you know, super you... hot is supposed to be a super good VR game. Is, oh, yeah. is I, that I, just... I played that when it was a just a flash game. Is the werewolves among us just like like mafia or werewolf? Yeah, that sounds really red. Yeah, um, and then yeah, you everybody has like their characters, and you can choose to stand up. You make gestures or whatever, and talk to the people next to you to try and technology something secretly. Technology so fucking cool. Yeah, I hear uh, keep talking and nobody explodes is really good in VR. That that one's great with. Uh, just like a whole slew of people you i mean mm-hmm. outside of vr it's super fun too like even if you just have it set up on a laptop on one end of the room and everybody else on the other side that one's i've played that plenty of times it's a blast beat saber is uh, not fun really yeah it's not a fun game because if you have a bunch of asshole friends that make you play hundred dollar bills on the hundred hardest mode until you pass it or we don't get to go get food it's not an enjoyable time that was me. I know this from I, personal yeah. experience. I feel like there may be other modes that you could play that might end up being fun. No, no, no because like that's, that's if I one. if I did do that, I'd have you know four or five angry, slightly tipsy people yelling and screaming at me to About go how back. He's a failure in pretty much every walk of his life. Go back to hundred dollar bills on expert mode, you coward. <laughs> <laughs> You just called me yellow. It's Greg's birthday. That's what he wanted you to do. Yeah. I would like some Thai food. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Thai food's so good. Beat Saber's up. That's, a, that's another blast. We only had it on the on the PS4, and it's upsetting because I see these YouTube videos of, like, all the, these other... The custom ones? Yeah, there's yeah. so many that come out. Like, uh, they had... Um, from the from the hit South Park movie that came out in like what ninety nine? Is it Kyle's mom? Yeah, Kyle's mom's a bitch. <laughs> it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, I was surprised to see that that had made it into Beat Saber. <laughs> there was a guy that did the entire first Shrek movie. Oh in my Beat God. Saber. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's amazing. That. All right. <laughs> before before somebody gets this. Let's fucking do that. Let's have let's have some sort of workout when it comes to watching movies. That sounds sick. 
like uh for the first time ever i got to see one of those full body 360 track suits oh the like like put on special sneakers and like get strapped into your waist and like shoot guns or whatever mm -hmm. but what if we had to watch movies that way and you had to like chase the movie screen <laughs> so you oh. watch it. god could you imagine speed you have to run at 55 miles an hour the whole time or you blow up yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this is a hard game i think it's physically impossible <laughs> You gotta get in your car with the VR headset on, drive fifty. Like I'm gonna die. <laughs> I dig it. All right, guys, let's get into gaming news here. I'm down. All right. Gaming news so great, you'll be coming back for more. I need it. This is gaming news. All right, the big news out of the week: Google Stadia. Cool. I don't, I'm not, I, don't I thought you said Peppa Pig at the very beginning, and it threw me off. What are we talking about? Google Stadia. It's a new streaming platform that does not require any new hardware. Mm. You just have to have a really fast internet connection. Really fast. Like um, Google Fiber, right? Yeah. I bet yeah, it worked. Like it probably, do it. It like probably works phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Did that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I'm sure it probably... Sync, syncs up with that pretty well. Um, unfortunately, we're all stuck on Comcast fucking dick. Or yeah. Cox or whoever you have. Or Cox Cox. Yeah. Cox. Um, I don't deserve it. <laughs> I. It's I, cool, but... It's interesting, but... Uh, it's just that the speed needed is really going to throw a lot of people yeah. off, I think. Mm -hmm. We're not there yet. What are they... Bring to the game, the game of gaming, that's new or different. The one example I saw was like, you're watching a YouTube video tutorial, and you can jump into the game from that YouTube tutorial of that game. Okay. I was like, that's kind of neat. So it helps you cheat. I dig it. Basically. Um, well, you won't need any, uh, you won't need any like new hardware or anything. Yeah, I mean, it seems like most streaming games, like most games that are streamed, are usually like online anyway, and that's gonna take up bandwidth too. So I mean, mm -hmm. it it seems like it's gonna be hard to to have that go unless they could like get it on like remote servers or something, <clears throat> like what they did with like GameFly, I think, where they had oh, a remote yeah. server and then you could play oh, games yeah. using their server. Um, oh man, I miss GameFly. Yeah, but uh, someone put it pretty good. Like, it's something that requires hardware or requires speeds that hardly anyone has, and technology that's not really that important to the mass audience. Yeah, they're like mm -hmm. they're like it's the perfect platform for Silicon Valley. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like the biggest thing is there's not. It doesn't feel like there's a a a need that's being filled with this system, right? Yeah, I don't really and that's, feel it either. That's, For some reason, people think this is the future because Sony had the PlayStation, now Xbox is making a cloud streaming one. Mm -hmm. Google is, apparently Apple is. So, Like, cloud gaming will be the future eventually. Eventually. Yeah. But, like, I'm not sure that Google needed to get their get their foot in the door and and not truly innovate. But with that said, like, I, have, I haven't learned very much about this. What What seems weird is, like, how the ownership of games has like eroded yeah. because you know back in the day you got to buy a disc now you have a disc um so if even, man wanted to borrow my ssx tricky there you go yeah that's a good one. and e even on steam if you download a game at least it's on your computer yeah yeah or but, at least attached to your account if you get another computer right yeah. but if you with stadia you, you just fucking connect to someone else's servers and like you don't even really own shit anymore. Yeah. You know, you pay $60 for the privilege to play a game that could get, I don't know, cut off at any moment. Or yeah. Or Stadia servers go down, you know, like, fuck. Yeah, that's one thing that kind of... Good and bad about, uh, like, PlayStation's... Like, PlayStation Plus games is mm -hmm. you can download them and play whatever you got from PlayStation Plus for free as long as you have a Plus account. And as long as you have space and as long as the servers are up and stuff, you can download it to your PlayStation. Mm -hmm. But if any of those pieces fall out, if you don't have a PlayStation Plus, well, you can't play that game anymore. So it's essentially you're paying 
you know it's a rental to, fee yeah to the power of 10 whatever the fucking game is worth when you could have just bought the disc mm-hmm. uh, yeah. and then you have like download only games uh. like overcooked i think overcooked too d- might have a disc but if it does i i don't know we should we should all play overcooked and kill each other Hey, you, I see you guys haven't made a podcast in like four months. We, we broke played, up. We played. We played Overcooked. We don't. We don't like to talk about. Skyler it. can't cut the fucking carrots fast enough. <laughs> um, he's a professional cook. Yeah. I went to culinary school. That's you really. Bitch. That's really rad. I don't know why you can't cut carrots faster. <laughs> <laughs> um, one last thing I want to say about Stadia is I saw a, a screenshot of they were showing the controller and they had it blown up on this big screen. Mm. <laughs> the tweet said, "In my opinion, this controller is too big." <laughs> <laughs> I like that. In my opinion. Uh, uh, hey, you can get cash five hundred thousand dollars in uh, cash for GTA Online, or ten gold bars in Red Dead Online if you enable two-step verification on your Rockstar Social Club. I did. Ooh. It's easy. Nice. But That's right. It's either or. Either or. Uh, nice. So, what do you? What would you do with five hundred thousand dollars GTA cash? Oh, it's That's not real money. Andy. I wanted yeah. them to ship me ten gold bars. <laughs> Andy, uh, what what are you gonna do with to that? Upgrade my nightclub. Okay. But we just finished. The- is that something? Is that like a like a stick that you use to jack cars? <laughs> no, it's an actual like dance nightclub with DJs and drinks and everything and I needed to accrue items faster do you have to so I upgraded it do you have to pay labor and upkeep costs I do all my businesses and everything I have running is like 80,000 a day are you part of the hiring process or do you have like HR people that you also have to pay that like run I I pick homeless people off the street actually oh nice get them off the street to be your dancers yes Huh. I like trash is the new thing. Because then you you could just hire him for a fucking song, like for nothing. Yeah. Here's a banana. Dance for me, monkey. Here's a bologna sandwich. You're hired for two months. <laughs> oh. Uh, the Epic Game Store is eventually going to cool it with store exclusives. Thank fucking God. So the Epic Game Store keeps announcing games that are completely exclusive to the Epic Store, like uh, The Outer Worlds, Remedy, Control... Uh, Detroit Become Human. I'm pretty salty about the Outer Worlds one. I'm going to be honest, I haven't heard of any of those games. Eventually, they uh, looks like they'll be getting fewer exclusives. So, Outer Worlds is the game, the new game from the creators of Fallout New Vegas. Okay. And oh, it, yeah. it's basically like Borderlands smashed with Fallout New Vegas. Yeah. I... Uh, I'm really excited for Elder Scrolls 6 to come out um, on the Bethesda game launcher that you have to get and pay for a membership for and that thing download. Is a shit. And it always runs Skyrim in the background. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I wish that we could just, like, hop on one fucking... Like, there's so many things that, like, if a game didn't come out on Origin, I would play it. Like, if it was just on Steam, or fuck, if I could just directly download the fucking game, I'd be fine. But I, instead, I have to have this stupid launcher up that's eating up my whole fucking process feed, mm-hmm. and then also run the game. Like, Overwatch is fun and all, but, like, why do I have to have Battle.net running? The right. Blizzard launcher isn't the worst out of all yeah. of them. It's not bad. Origin, and, Blizzard, and Steam seem to have their poop in a group. And there's, I mean, there is something to be said for, like, you know market competition but you got steam which is like a great client and then you have to go into this fucking clown car of a client for this one game yeah exactly like like like, um you play exactly you plays terrible but you gotta play south park so you gotta fucking get on you play or launch it through steam which opens you play to launch fucking south park yeah it sounds like a lot of bitching for uh somebody who could just play this on playstation i'm just saying yeah, I mean that's why I play pretty much any game that I'm not playing online on PlayStation, just because I don't have to download a fucking launcher and eat up more hard drive space. You, you expect me to come down from my master race pedestal, no. where I have clients runneth over? <laughs> I, I hear you, but us over in in Hicktown, Consulville, 
We don't have to worry about drivers. We don't have to worry about servers. We don't have to worry about all of this. We don't worry about. Shut up, Andy. We don't have to worry about any of this garbage. I put in. I put in my disc for Tony Hawk Pro Skater Nine, Mm -hmm. and I just, I just, I just roll the streets, my guy. Yeah, well, you know, unfortunately, your disc doesn't have a mod that turns the skateboard into Macho Man Randy Savage. I get it. I get it. And he says, oh, yeah, each time you land a trick. Oh, oh. that sounds so funny. <laughs> and I would love to watch a YouTube video on that mm-hmm. on my YouTube app on my yeah. PlayStation. <laughs> on computer, we just call that YouTube. YouTube.com. All right, well, you got me there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but you get a browser on PlayStation. It just takes you six years to type anything in. You get a browser on Steam, but it takes you six years to open up a web page it only has the tags hentai and rape yeah (laughs) i do not like the steam browser that much yeah that's uh which i mean i can just alt tab out and use chrome but Mm -hmm. sometimes when you click a link in steam it opens up the steam browser you're like no 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 hey hey, take it easy there yeah slow your roll i didn't ask for this steam yeah that's that's something that also should probably be streamlined but like I'm so sick of fucking having to download shit for one game. It's just, it's garbage. Um, because it's essentially any. Oh. Um, I missed a goof, and Tam's Tam's upset about it. But uh, it's Tam's just still salty because you one upped them with the donuts. All right, guys, <laughs> this has been a real fun podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I got about. Sam brings honey buns and fucking Skyler and brings next week. Andy's going to bring an entire continental breakfast. Yeah, I have I have this waffle maker but in it, my car. <laughs> you press a button, it does it all for you. Gallon Ziploc bag of scrambled eggs for everyone. <laughs> that's not scrambled eggs. That's a gallon of Andy. But yeah, it's a. Uh, anytime uh, one of these new clients comes out, it's just them and or Steam, because pretty much every other major game that you could find. Is on Steam, minus like a handful of exclusives. When the they announced the Master Chief Collection, and it was like fading in, and it said like Microsoft Store. I was like, uh, uh, Steam. Like, oh, fucking thank God. Yeah. So many, so many. Oh, when they showed off Steam. The pain in the ass with Microsoft Store is and there's certain Microsoft update shit that I like went into the registry and turned off because it's mm-hmm. always running in the background. Yep. And so I just update Windows when I fucking feel like it, instead of just constantly running in the background. But the goddamn Microsoft Games client needs those. Uh, so like when I try to like play Sea of Thieves, oh. I'm going in there into the registry and going, fuck, what did I do six months ago? Like, <laughs> god damn it. Yeah, it's uh it's really frustrating when you when you run into those. Like it. Just get on the get on the steam train. Choo choo. So a streamer beats the whole Soul series and Bloodborne without taking a single hit. What a fucking neckbeard. On a but on I a dance it. pad. <laughs> yeah. I've seen some people do do whole boss runs without getting hit on a dance pad. I'm like, I can't mm. even play the this game. The one that I saw was um the f- all bosses in Dark Souls on a Donkey Kong drum. Yeah. My one of my favorite things ever is this guy playing Winston and Overwatch with bananas. Oh yeah, he just does like a electrical charge for the inputs. Yeah, yeah. uh huh. It's a uh, man. I can't even play fucking any of the Souls games. Nope, nope. It, so... it it ticks a rage marker in my brain that I never knew I had. <laughs> I bought Tom. Tom Clark convinced me that Demon Souls was the best fucking game ever made. Mm. So I went out, paid it, played like three hours of it, and then sold it that same day. See, I was I, like, this checks a box that I don't like. I, I rented it for a weekend, and I tried playing it, and then I I remember there was like one run where I lasted for a good 45 minutes to an hour. Just like getting through, died. Well, I guess I'm not playing this game anymore because I'm all the way back at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. I've sunk an entire day trying to get this hour distance away from the starting point. Well, fuck me. I guess this game doesn't want me to play it because 
it, it, maybe they just didn't develop the second half of this game, <laughs> and they're just hiding their shame by making it impossible to get there. And everybody on the in the universe has lied. Yeah, yeah, I, I beat it. You remember the the end, the end of the game? Yeah, yeah, it was, was really a dragon. There was a dragon. Yeah, oh yeah, man. I mean yeah, there was a dragon. Yeah, there's a dragon. It was a pretty fucking dope dragon. <laughs> so I did some math for you. Oh, okay. I, or by me, I mean some person on the internet. In order for you to fill a gallon bag of Andy, you would have to ejaculate 757 times. That's a weekend for me, baby. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> you act like he hasn't already started. Nah, I, I get it. I'm going to Google how many times you can ejaculate in a day, and we'll see how many weeks it would take. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the discless Xbox is allegedly going to come with three first-party Microsoft games. Nice. Uno, Solitaire, Mahjong. Uh, you forgot the sports one. That's you can only play with the Connect, and you can play with your stupid avatar. Oh yeah, they they discontinued the Connect like 2014. I, think. I know, but this one it's gonna have it. It's gonna be right there where there should be a disc. Connect's coming back, baby. You can get Connect for the Xbox One. I know, but they discontinued it, didn't they? The use of Connect. No. I mean, there's not really like any Connect games, but you can do you can still do things with the oh, Connect. Okay. Yeah, um, like one of them is just when you sit in front of your Xbox and it just turns on. It sees your face. It sees yo. your face. Hey, hey, hey! You go back play, huh? I, oh, I, was, I was just gonna watch Netflix. Oh, we I got I got Netflix. I got Netflix. You want it? <laughs> yeah. um, so it's gonna come with Forza uh, Forza Horizon Three, Sea of Thieves, and Minecraft. Actually, those are pretty solid to get on an Xbox, so. Fucking, you know who's like the worst fucking person? Who's that? Notch. Have you seen Notch's Descent into Madness? Oh, no. God. Oh. Being rich just really tainted his soul. Oh, no. He's like a conspiracy theory douchebag. Oh, that sucks. I mean, he is a dick. He's the only person... I am glad Microsoft bought out his game. Oh, really? That's <laughs> funny. No like, girls who touch my penis. How? Yeah, kind of. So he's a nice guy. No, he's kind of oh. just a dick. Oh, okay. But he definitely seems like the kind of person that would say, like, a woman's role in society is fucking bouncing on my dick. Ah. Uh, um, so yeah. I just don't understand how you can retire with enough money to never have to work again to a mansion full of candy and be bitter. I mean, he did have a couple like long blog posts about that, where it was just like most of what happened after he sold like everything with Minecraft. Um, you know, he got a bunch of money. Most of the people on the development team hate him now. Most of his friends work during the day, so he's got pretty much nothing to do, and nobody really wants to hang out with him ever. Which, sure, fine. Buy a robot butler. Be friends with that. <laughs> Fucking go into space just for funsies. <laughs> like, buy an island and populate it with people who just want to like you. <laughs> like, you can fucking buy a best friend. I'll be your best friend, Notch. I'm saying it here. I'll be your best friend. All you got to pay me is like, I don't know, two or three K a month. That's a, that's a steal for you. <laughs> um, so we got some news about uh, the <laughs> Halo Master Chief Collection PC ports. Some things that are confirmed, some things that are not confirmed, some things that are denied. Denied. Thank you. Looking for words. Um, the good. You won't need Windows 10 to play the Steam versions. Okay. Win Windows 7 is supported. Windows 8's being looked at. Because Windows 8 sucks so much boards. Yeah. Windows Store and Steam players can play together. All right. Okay. You looking up Notch over there or something, Andy? Yeah. <laughs> Seeing what he's up to. I guess no. sad. <laughs> um, it won't be ready in time for launch, but 343 are working with the members of the El Durito mod team to explore what? options for official mod support. What was that called? El Durito. I don't... They call themselves the Dorito? Ones, they're the ones that made the unofficial Halo Online. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. The ones right. 343 asked them to stop development. Um, El Durito actually put out a blog post where they said, 
three four three actually invited them over to ask them like, how do you think we should launch the Master Chief Collection on PC? Sweet. And they said on Steam. And they you were stupid idiots. And apparently they were like congratulatory about how well they made Halo Online. Huh. Nice. Three four three. They're making like total bro comebacks for like this whole Master Chief on Steam and yeah. PC. When do you think the next Master the next Master Chief game's coming out? <laughs> when's the When's the next, next game? When's guys? it getting put into Smash Bros? Yeah, Halo, Halo Infinite's the next one, and I have no idea when it's coming uh, out. We might see E three stuff. Do you think Halo Infinite's gonna like continue the story that left off from? Master Chief five, six, four, five, five. Wait, five was the last one. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I thought four was the last one. Um, I gotta go. I gotta go play that game. Probably. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of. There's been been five games in the main series now. Kind of feels weird to leave it on a five, you know. I yeah. think they're it's going. Prime I number. think they're going for like another trilogy. Okay. <laughs> so un- uncapped cool. frame rates. Are the plans for all games okay? Multiple aspect ratios supported. Okay. Um, from all the way from four three to twenty one nine. Can you Spoilers. toggle all the games or just two? Hmm. A Master Chief Collection, you could toggle the view of two, right? From old game to oh, new game. Oh, to the to yeah. the remake game. It's probably. Can they you don't hope? they don't mention it? But I'm just gonna. It's probably just gonna be the new. Yeah. yeah, probably maybe simpler. Skylar, I think your beard brushing is coming up on the mic. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. It was like poking my face, so I had to... <laughs> I had to there's a little ASMR beard combing for you. Um, no season passes or microtransactions are planned. Good. Uh, games will be sold individually and yeah. in a bundle when all six are ready. Yeah, that bothered me. I was I was hoping I know, to like it's, it's buy like the bundle release. and then... Yeah. And then just get them when they come out, but having to buy them separately or wait. I bet 343 needs money, and that's why they're doing it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's fine. I'm going to support I'm going to buy them all, so. Yeah, I'm in too deep not to buy them all. Yeah. So what do you guys think about the uh, Xbox Live membership that you got to you gotta purchase with it? Yeah. Uh, I, I, isn't that what it said on, uh, on Steam? You needed a third-party... Uh, membership you need a third party xbox account which is free to make okay i thought it was an xbox live specifically no you just need an xbox account okay rock and roll yeah yeah i was mistaken oh, you're- uh the games will have anti-cheat systems 343 will re- reveal more later new cosmetic customization stuff nice. progression system plan for halo reach mix and match armor pieces um can i play with my uh would you stop asking me questions <laughs> No, <laughs> there's only so much I have on this screen. Can I play with my niece? <laughs> yes, she's can, five. I don't think I should. Can I can I play with my Microsoft avatar? No. Oh. Um, probably no PC to Xbox gameplay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, no plans to bring Halo Five to PC. Split screen multiplayer may not make it. Um, Halo ODST's firefight, you know, horde arena mode. Um, they are evaluating in the future. Reach's Firefight is in, though. Cool. Ooh, nice. Um, on Xbox Play Anywhere, 343 still only had the vague, we're exploring ways of continued support for Xbox One players. And no quote unquote PC style dedicated servers for drop in, drop out play at launch. Yeah, that's okay. I've gotten used to not having dedicated servers. Uh, still to be announced, no words on. 343 and their flexible release plan and no word on centered crosshairs which is something people have been asking for you know like in overwatch where yeah just sit there in the center rather than moving changing yeah so i can't neato. imagine that'd be too hard to just like toggle in as a yeah. as video feature i i would imagine they eventually toss it in if they don't do it at launch Okay, guys, I got some technology news. I'm actually trying to shore it up a little bit. No one cares, old man. It's time for technology news with three hit combo. That's you. That was me. I did that one. 1,000 locals reportedly seek treatment after multi-day fire at Houston Chemical Facility. 
You okay over there, Tim? I'm just jamming. <laughs> I can just see you at the corner of my eye, and I'm like, what the fuck is he just doing? Just closes his eyes, nodding. Just, just like, all those dance. I'm just getting real deep into this story, man. All this story's dance, touching me on a man. like a spiritual level. Roughly 1,000 people sought treatment at a pop-up treatment center for symptoms including nausea, headaches, respiratory system problems. Fuck yes. And they all got Pepto-Bismol. Hey. After <laughs> Pepto-Bismol. After Intercontinental <laughs> Terminals Company Chemical Storage Facility in Deer Park, Houston caught fire this week. What caused the fire? The massive fire broke out oh, March Billy 17th. Billy Joel, causes most fires. Not even going to recognize that. Releasing <laughs> over 9 million pounds of pollutants into the region. <laughs> uh. That uh, wow. that sounds really horrific. <laughs> the joke that's kind of just made. <laughs> no, that sucks though. Um, do you think we can bitch about China now, or or can China bitch about us? <laughs> we uh, we had similar stuff in the in in the shit in the Middle East. <laughs> Uh, they have burn pits where it's like just essentially just a bunch of fucking like Agent Orange and other garbage being burned. Oh, trying to smoke people out of stuff. And uh, turns out uh, they're still researching harmful effects. So <laughs> I'm health covered until they can figure out what's wrong with me. I've got the orange lung. Yeah. 69,000 pounds of Tyson chicken strips recalled <gasps> over concerns they may contain metal. The tendies. <laughs> The what tendies. kind of metal? Uh, we're going to find out. Okay. I'm excited. We'll thrasher metal. Go on this journey together. Vibranium. Or thrasher oh. metal. Uh, chicken strips shipped to over 20 states. They fear they may, may have fragments of metal. Uh, let's see. They say extraneous metal in packages of the frozen chicken products. Um, it doesn't seem to say specifically the metal. I mean, so it, I, guess, I guess just like you know, scraps. Yeah, if you're if you're doing it the old-fashioned way, there's always going to be metal in your meat. It's going out there, shooting chickens and stuff, just eat around it. It's like gristle. I'll, I want to like have like an entire screw or like a lug nut just like exists inside of this chicken. <laughs> just like wow, I got a whole bayonet in my chicken. It's like a cracker jack cries. Ah. I prefer Caucasian, but yeah. A giant brawl ensues after dueling YouTubers tell their fans to meet up. That's awesome. A dispute between two German YouTubers reportedly incited a public brawl between their respective fans. Uh, Bahar Al Amud, a Berlin YouTuber with 14,000 subscribers, and That's Bekir. A Stuttgart YouTuber with 263,000. Wow, that's way more fans. Ooh, wow. That's, that's some that's three, a fucking bloodbath. That's some 300 shit there. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, they've been beefing on social media. They asked their fans to meet up at the Alexander Platz Public Square in Berlin Thursday at 5 p.m. Did they show up? About 400 people arrived in support of Bahar Al Amud. Uh, bah, bah. Oh, oh, for both of them. Both the dudes, 400 people showed up. Total. And a, uh, yeah, and a fight erupted between about 50 of the fans, That's spread awesome. to YouTube. I don't know if they showed up. If they didn't, they're cowards. I just like. Lead the charge. There are some right? people that I follow on YouTube that, like. I mean, I genuinely enjoy watching their videos, and I'm excited when my notification goes off that I got a new, like, Ninja Sex Party or Game Grumps or whatever uh, video to watch. Man, I'm not going to take a punch for any of those motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> wow, you're not a real fan of their content, then. Oh, no, I'd put a bullet in somebody, but I'm not taking a punch. That's long range, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I do a drive-by shooting for them, but, uh, no, nah, I'm not... I'm not Resorting to fisticuffs. Uh, That's you, the coward's way. You Drive have, by. That's a gentleman's uh, victory right there. You have no honor, sir. <laughs> All right, guys. I got some news. Got four stories here. Uh, one of them's going to be quick because I don't really like it. <laughs> Was it about Billy Joel? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. No. Son of a bitch. When there's some strange news in your neighborhood. Combo. Perfect. 
Man forced to shorten fence gets revenge with naked mannequins. Okay. <laughs> fuck, fuck your view. A man in Santa Rosa, California was forced to reduce the size of his fence. Got some payback, I guess, with the help of some kind of naked mannequins. He built the six-foot fence to keep his two dogs in the yard. However, the city agreed with a neighbor that the fence obscured view of oncoming traffic. Okay. All right. Uh, like, so he put I mean, the mannequins in the street or where's he building this fence? <laughs> Maybe it was just like too close to the corner. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so okay. he put these mannequins in the yard, freak some of the neighbors out. Yeah. This, uh, I remember cause this guy, he said that when he was going to shorten his fence, um, he was going to have his neighbors pay for it, but they ended up not doing that. It only works the other way. Yeah. You can only make your neighbors pay if you build a fence as opposed to take one down. Yeah. That's yeah. where it is. Yeah. yeah. That's where he messed up. Didn't follow that sound logic. Thanks, Donnie. Uh, a man's mobile phone protects him from an arrow. That's fucking awesome. Oh, that is headed? badass. Uh, an Australian man's life was saved by his phone. Incredibly, his phone stopped an arrow from hitting him as he came under attack in rural New South Wales. The 43-year-old was left with a small cut on his chin following the bizarre incident. He was under attack by, like, what, Mongols? Are they well, invading again? So this, these two YouTubers were beefing? <laughs> <laughs> and some coward decided to do a drive-by with a bow and arrow. A <laughs> couple, oh, couple of archery channels. Uh, the incident began when the attacker carrying a bow and arrow confronted him outside his house. The victim then raised his phone to photograph the potential attack. When the assailant fired the arrow. That's some Kung Fu hustle shit. <laughs> that is hilarious. Bing! <laughs> That's fucking It's crazy, like catching dude. bullets with your teeth. Get out of my head, Skylar Joyce. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's rad. So um, we, uh, we went to that archery place. Okay. There's an archery place uh, here in town that uh, you can... It's like archery, but with dodgeballs. And all day, I was trying to catch arrows, <laughs> and it was really hard. <laughs> yeah, it's a, uh, it's sort of like, yeah, dodgeball or like paintball with uh, with bows and arrows. It's pretty fun. Oh, okay. Do uh, they do it with hatchets? No. There is hatchet throwing in close proximity. I'm sure you could probably sneak one onto the field and perform a grisly murder. <laughs> you guys ever see Call of Duty? <laughs> Insta kill. Ah, oh, paralyzing from the waist down. No. I guess that's, it wasn't that's instant. The huh? Slow burn. That's the real victory. All right. So this is the one I don't really like that much because it just comes off like na 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 na. Don't don't try and sneak. No, I'm just looking. I'm just <laughs> looking. Oh, you're, you're admiring. Backwards yeah. in the in the glare. There's an old man. Police arrested a man for uh, he was drunk in public. Nah, 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 nah. They smelled alcohol on him. He blew a .194, more than twice the legal limit. They arrested a man named Daniel Sober. <laughs> That's why he was drunk. Da, 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 da. Mm. All right. Yeah. Oh, what a good. That was a good one. I liked that one. Cool. It was a fun one. What the fuck happened? I'm to gonna put that in my type five. Oh well, I don't need it anymore. Okay. Yeah. Last story here. A woman almost dies from stroke triggered by oral sex. Hell yeah. Chances that are her husband is him. still bragging. <laughs> yeah. That dude's just probably like, Larry, guess what I did this weekend? Almost killed my wife. According to a new report from the British Medical Journal, the unidentified 44-year-old woman suffered a transient loss of consciousness while receiving oral sex from her partner. Man, nice. sounds like he took her on a spiritual journey. Or she was so bored. It's like, how can I get out of this thing? How, <laughs> yeah. how can I speed up this process? Oh, man. After the destroyed. woman was unconscious for two to three minutes after the sex, her partner got nervous and took her to the emergency room. <laughs> Wait. For three minutes? 180 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> like, he was just like, well, I guess uh, she's not moving up and down anymore. It's my job. Oh, I got to do everything. Oh, my God. Once there, the man told doctors that his partner's body had gone stiff during their session. The Not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 
<laughs> the woman told doctors she had a headache that she described as a six out of ten on the pain scale. Oh. Six inches out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> These are not edited by Matt. We are actually high fiving. At first, the doctors believed, based on the symptoms, that the woman had suffered a seizure. Try to bite that dick off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, yeah, it, it. I mean, if she had a seizure, that would keep her t- from her swallowing at the top. Yeah. But yeah. keep her swallowing that jizz. What's up? <laughs> there we go. I got one. Uh, doctors later learned she had experienced a blackout caused by a sudden lack of blood supply to the brain. I will not be making the obvious blackout joke. Go ahead. <laughs> Probably because it was all rushing to her genitals because she was... Turned on. Because it was all black in. <laughs> this is like the fucking scientific. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I had Erica pass out on me once. Hey. Was she just tired? She, it was really horrifying. She, no, she hyperventilated, passed out. She hey. just fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, she, uh, she hyperventilated, passed out. She was on top, so I had to like. <laughs> Pull her off of me and me out of her, and I was like, I. She was like laying on the on the bed for a little bit, and I'm like, I don't know what I do, because she was breathing and stuff. Walk away. Yeah, I know. Make a sandwich. Like tap her on the forehead with your dick. Wakey, wakey. Yeah, I was trying to just smack her in the face, wake her up with my hand. Everyone, with my hand. Oh, does she listen to this podcast? No. I, fuck it. This is gonna be the one episode she's, she's gonna like, have she's gonna wife listen. senses like Camilla now. Like yeah. they're talking about shit. <laughs> yeah. No, she's probably still asleep. Oh yeah, because this is live. No, yeah. <laughs> no, but she's probably not having the wife senses just yet. No, It'll good. be when yeah. it's published. But uh, well. it's fuck yeah. That was also a really weird scenario because I was like, do I keep? No, I can't keep going. No, that's rape. <laughs> that's what rape is, Oh, Tim. my God. So, yeah. I, what an educational podcast. Yeah, I had to. Now, if only I could learn what hentai is. And me out. And then she was just on the bed. And I got up. I got a glass of water. I was like, maybe I'll splash the water on her face or something. And I had. Splash something else on her face. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> so, like. <laughs> Yeah, it, it was. Tam, Tam decided to high five someone else on that one. <laughs> Wait, yeah. I'm like gonna high five Skyler as he's talking about coming on his unconscious wife. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was just got a high five. Real weird oh scenario. God. But this guy, I guess, really wanted to stick it, stick it out, and in. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine you like. You just come back and you have like a meatball sub, <laughs> and you're like, you're still here. You're like, what? What? You all right? Hey, that looked rough. You hungry? And you start like you handing just, it to her. You just hold your naked stomach, eat the meatball sub. Just she wakes up. Hey, hey guys, up? <laughs> wow, that was spooky. <laughs> you wanna you wanna finish up or what? I, I can still go. Yeah, I got Hulu on. <laughs> I can watch that. I've had my recovery sandwich. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, it's uh. Yeah, it was just a an awkward situation. But she woke up almost immediately. Well, you took the pillow off. Yeah. And so oh, okay. Well, you didn't have time to make a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, couldn't make a sandwich. I did get up and start putting on my pants because I was like, I think I'm gonna have to call an ambulance. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but she woke up by the time I got my pants on. I was like, Oh, you're awake. <laughs> I'll be leaving now. <laughs> wrong, wrong apartment. <laughs> 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 oh, oh God. Okay. Well, I'm glad I did that story last. That was funny. So that'll do it for this episode of the podcast. Skylar, you uh, you want to take us out? Yeah, sure. Hey, thank you so much to lis- uh, for listening. I you already talked about, about it. Uh, thank you so much for listening to Three Hit Combo Podcast. You can find us at facebook.com slash three hit combo podcast with the number three. Twitter.com slash three hit combo PC. We got our Twitter up and running, if anyone still checks that. Uh, that's 3Hit Combo Podcast, 3Hit Combo PC uh, for our Twitter. And our Gmail, 3Hit Combo Podcast at gmail.com. Email us your nudes. 3Hit Combo Podcast at gmail.com. And that's the number three once again. Please email us your nudes. 
Uh, we promise, you know, if you're asleep, we won't ejaculate on your picture. But it would be pretty interesting if you took a picture of yourself while you're asleep. Anyway, don't worry about the logistics. I'm Skyler. This has been Matt, Andy, Tam, and myself. I'm signing out.